us do another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2020 Internal Science Paper 2, which is chemistry. So this is the eighth episode in this series of episodes where we focus on this paper extensively. So episode one covered section A extensively. So if you haven't seen that episode, please check out on our YouTube channel. Then episode two started with question e, B1 of section e, B. So let us look at question e, B7 now. Atoms of elements A, B, and C have 8, 17, and 12 electrons respectively. Question A, using the letters, construct a chemical formula of a compound formed between atoms of elements A and D, C. So the question is asking us to write a chemical formula. So the first thing that we need to do is let us do electronic configuration of these three elements. So A, since A has got eight electrons, so its electron configuration will be the first shell will have two, the second will have supposed to have eight. So because from eight when we take out two we remain with six, six is less than eight, so it's going to have only six in that outer most shell. Then B with seven electrons is going to have two in the inner shell, then two from seventeen is see fifteen, then fifteen minus eight, we are going to have eight in the second one, then in the last one we're going to remain with seven electrons. Like that. Then C it has a twenty electrons which is the same as the number of protons so it's going to have two in the inner then eight so eight plus two is ten twenty minus eight we're going to remain with two outside so that we have two two eight two so this is the electronic configuration so what a is a non metal b is a non metal c is a metal so now we are trying to write a formula between A and D, C. So what is going to happen in this case is we are going to have the valence of C which is a metal will be 2. Then the valence of A which is a non-metal it will be willing to gain 2 extra electrons to have a complete outer shell. Then this will be willing to donate to so that it has also a complete outer shell. So the valence of A also is a 2. So what we do is we close the valence. Then we're going to have C, 2, A, 2. Then we express this in the lowest term, 2 into 2. We're going to end up with the formula as C, A. As the formula for this compound. So that will be the formula. Then, if you look at question B, elements B and C can react to form a compound. Name the type of bond formed in the compound. So, you notice that B is a non-metal, C is a metal. So, what is going to happen in this case? So, what will be formed is an ion losing and gaining bond, which is called as ionic bond because this is a metal this is a non metal question Loma numeral 2 of beam state one physical property of this a compound so one physical property of this compound which is ionic compound is it has a i boiling and melting point that's in the physical property of this bond. Now, what you need to take note of is there are three types of bonds, which is ionic bond, which is the transfer of electrons between metals and non-metals, which is happening in this case. Then we have covalent bonding, which is formed by sharing of electrons between atoms. These are for non-metals. Then we have metallic bonding, which uh, involves sharing of electrons between atoms of metallic elements. Each atom loses 
electrons and becomes uh, positively charged. Thus, what happens under metallic bonds. So take note of those are three types of bonds. So in terms of the properties that you can think about, the other ones are the fact that one, they are poor conductors of electricity in solid state. So they only conduct electricity when they are in a molten state. So thirdly, what you can also give is the exist as a solid at room temperature. That's how they exist. Let's look at the next question. You notice that this element is in group 6 of the periodic table. This element should be oxygen. 8 electrons. So now what are the use of oxygen? So take note, it's important that you check the name of the element before you start giving any answers. So oxygen is used in a number of uh, things. So number one, what you can think about is used in the manufacture of steel and the blast furnace. So oxygen is used in, used in the manufacture of steel in blast furnace. So number two, that what you can give is the fact that uh, oxygen is used as a liquid. So used as liquid oxygen in lockets when in outer space. Number three, what you can uh, give also is the fact that oxygen is used for welding. So used for welding in the ox assay train flame. So when they are welding, that flame is oxygen in the ox assay train form. So you can choose any of these and you'll be able to get the full marks. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as I look at question B8, the last question in this section.